What's up everybody, Benoit here and welcome to Tactical Fellowship. Go ahead, hit that like button if you bought the original XTI and why not subscribe if just like me, you're looking at buying the XTI 2. Made by XS, the XTI 2 sight is a close quarters offset secondary solution for transitioning between a downrange target and an in your face target. These are meant to be mounted in front of your optic to reduce snagging on your gear and are basically kind of pistol sights on your AR designed for pistol length distances where a magnified optic will slow you down. Improvements over their first generation sight is a taller base for better sight alignment and this was a major issue I raised in my original review because I was constantly breaking cheek weld with my old set so with these you won't have to break your standard cheek weld. Also, they increased the base angle to accommodate a wider optic, which is great because the original was plenty close to my scope, and my scope wasn't even that big. And you're still going to get enough room for your flashlights to cozy on up. Here's my Surefire M600 on a Haley Strategic Thorntail. The front sight now measures 0.140 wide and features an orange ember glow dot that I kind of immediately took off right after taking all the glam shots because it just wasn't popping for me. So I took my big dot white with tritium front post from my old XTI sight and put that in instead. Uh, to be sure, you can buy this new sight with that and many other front post options as well. Their website says that you should sight this thing in at 25 yards, so I headed to the range and that's exactly what I tried to do, and I found it really frustrating to get this thing dialed in. I would take some shots, I would make some adjustments, I would take another shot or two, look through the scope, I would make another adjustment, I'd shoot again, make another adjustment. It just never felt to really kind of get into the zone where I wanted it to be, but after a while I felt, okay, it's good enough, let's just move on from there. All right, so it's set up at 25 yards, but how is this gonna shoot at five yards? You got your three gun match, and you're closing in on those quick targets, and you're gonna use this at the five yards. Let's see where that hits. All right, here we go. It's gonna be shots at 10 yards. Lollipop right on the bullseye. It's getting a little bit closer to that 25 yard zero. But I still wasn't satisfied with where my shots were landing until I made an important decision to zero in these sights at a specific yardage and call it quits. Because these sights are off the bore axis, kind of like a World War II Mustang where the machine guns are angled on the wings and eventually they coincide with the target. That's kind of how these sights align as well. So I decided, knowing the zero my Leopold needs at five yards, that's two hashes down from the circle, that I would align that on the target and then bring the excess sight to that point of impact. And that's when I started having some fun. Check these groupings with the new five yard sight picture. As you're about to see, this grouping is way more satisfying. So my advice is just set your yardage and get real with it. Honestly, since I like the five yards so much, I set it up at 10 yards to see what the difference would be. And... Meh. I feel like that's reasonable. It was about this time that I decided to lock down the rear windage with the supplied blue Loctite. This is how you do it. All right, so here's the question I know everyone is dying to know. You've got it zeroed into that five yards, Ben, but you got that 12 inch gong back there at the 50 yard backstop. Is that five yard zero that you put the XTI 2s at capable of hitting that 12 inch gong? Dudes, I bet you two tacos, that's a negative. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and try it. No, let's try it one more time. The taco pile builds. Good to go for five, but dude, can't reach out and touch someone at 50. And I know what some of you were thinking right away. Well, my backup BUS offset better be able to hit a target at 50. I'm sure that you could dial it in for 50, but then you're not gonna be hitting five to 10 real well. And that's what this is made for. So do with that info what you will. At the end of the day though, I do think these are a solid improvement over the original sight and these will stay on my gun. They fix the height issue so I don't need to break cheek weld when going to them and that is really useful for my three gunning. But now if you operate, I can see why these wouldn't be the first choice for you and that's also probably why on their website they seem to be marketing more towards the three gun crowd than the LEO crowd. 
So these sites really do work for me because I don't have five, six, seven hundred dollars laying around for a 45 degree RDS and you probably don't either. So slap these on, decide your distance and let her rip. Well, that's all I got and I really hope this helps you out. As always, right fast, you straight and we'll see you guys next time.